Tana Guitar episode 12, the series finale. We're going right where the last episode left off. Togame has just been shot. We're getting a bit of a, like, there's words on the screen, just tell, screen telling us like, oh, what is history? How can we know if history is true, if they're just words? And then Shichika rushes to Togame. Eamon Zaimon says that he avoided hitting Togame's vitals because um, this way she can bleed out, so she can live for a little while longer to give Shichika her final words. So when he's he leaves, leaving Shichika there to try to get Togame to speak. Shichika's like, oh, this is all my fault, what have I done? And she's like, shh, hold on, give me a second, I'm trying to think of a way to, to go against that sword so that when you come up against it again, it won't hurt you. <laughs> so then she asks him to make sure that the whole country takes up the term Chirio as a word of encouragement. He's like, I can't do that. I can't do anything without you. You can't leave me. She she says a lot of really nice things to him, but he's he's not really hearing it. He's just saying, no, 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 you're, I, I can't be without you. You have to live. Like, he, he's like being very insistent that she just live. And he still has his heart set on making a map of the country, like she suggested. So now she's saying that she planned on killing Shichika after their trip was over, she wasn't going to, you know, travel with him to make a map of the world or anything like that. And I feel like she's only Harry and the Henderson Hendersons ending him, you know, like she's just saying that to make it easier for him. But I don't think he's gonna believe it. Now she's just really confused. He's like, "Why would? Why? I don't don't understand. I don't understand all my feelings. I don't understand what you've done to me, and what's gonna happen now?" So in spite of all of this that's happened, in spite of the fact that she's dying, in spite of the fact that maybe she was planning on killing him, um, she's happy. She gives him his last order. Forget all about me and live the way you want to live. And of course he's like, no, that's ridiculous. I'm in love with you. I, there's nothing I can do. Then I guess she's gone. She's, she, uh, she's died. It's very confusing last words, I feel. It's, it's kind of changing the way I'm thinking back in the series, I thought maybe she was only saying them to to make it easier for Shichika to let go of her, but I, now I'm not so sure. Meanwhile, Princess Hite has gone to the Shogun. There are all these warriors sitting in the back. Very um, interesting, unique appearances, but they're shrouded in darkness. And um, Princess Hite is like, I want to have this audience alone, and um, but the Shogun's like, no, 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 they have to be here. She reveals that, yes, she is Shikizaki <laughs> Kiki's, um, like, relative, and uh, he's her ancestor. She explains that um, Shikizaki's real goal was to alter history. Apparently, the entire country of Japan is going to fall uh, by a foreign attack, so that's why the um, swords were forged, in order to... Um, avoid that, I guess. That's when Shichika appears. He's like dead in the eyes. He's looking a little bit morose. Wow. So he fights his way through all the guards, even punching through one of them. Eamon Zaimon's there as well, and he's like, what are we gonna do about this problem? And the Shogun's like, well, what about Togame? Can we get her to stop him? And it's like, no, no, she's a little bit dead. But maybe this is all part of Shikizaki Kiki's evil genius plan. So they're going to send out those 11 previously mentioned warriors along with Amon Zaimon in order to fight Shichika, and we'll see what happens. <laughs> Apparently, Shichika's not there to avenge Togame. He's there to be killed. Like, he wants someone to be able to kill him. So I guess room by room he's going to fight one of the um, soldiers. One of, yeah. And are they each going to have, yeah, they each have one of the swords. Oh, okay. I thought Shichika had the sword. I guess Amon Zaimon must have taken them. He broke the unbreakable sword! Oh, the next one is that sword of the guy with the super, like the speed sword, I guess? That one's broken now, too. Next is the thousand sword, like the, there, there's a thousand swords. <laughs> He's just owning all of these people and destroying all of their swords. I guess I'll just let you know at the end when he's destroyed all of them. I guess Shichika was really held ba back by the fact that he couldn't break the swords. That all along, if he had been able to break the swords, then each fight would have been much easier. His normally perfectly coiffed hair is like all getting jagged now. It's really sad to see Shichika all depressed like this. 
I guess in a way, Shichika has kind of become the perfect sword at this point because he's fighting so just objectively, just fighting. <laughs> he comes across one of the fighters who... Oh, jeez. Oh, um, she gets the sword that is just a sheath, and she's like, I there's nothing I can do with this, so she tries to just throw it at him, and he just kicks it back at her. I guess he didn't kill that one. That's the first fighter he didn't kill. It's amazing that even though all of these guys are just, like, basically throwaway characters who got to say maybe two lines at the most and then die, they all were very distinctive and had personalities. It's very interesting. So he's destroyed 11 of the 12, and then he gets up the stairs, and here's Amon Zaimon and Hitei. Hitei heads up the stairs, and she's like, if you beat Amon Zaimon, then come on up. Hitei tells Amon Zaimon to kill Shichika, and Amon Zaimon points out that if he does that, then Shichika won't be able to um, finish Shikizaki's plans to change history. And she's like, well, I really don't care one way or the other, so I mean, whatever. Oh, he reminisces a little bit of about uh, Togame before he goes in to fight. Shichika does reveal that the reason he's there is um, is to die. Even though Togame told him to live, he doesn't have any obligation to fulfill that order. Imon Zaimon uses the, the guns, but um, Shichika is able to outrun him. Oh my gosh, he, no, never mind, he wasn't dodging them. He was just accepting them and continuing to go forward anyway. So now he's been shot several times. So they go in for the ultimate clash, the final... Uh, I don't want Shichika to die too, this is the worst. Looks like Shichika has kept a little lock of uh, Togame's hair, which I didn't notice that before, but it keeps flashing to that as he delivers these amazing attacks on um, Eamon Zaimon. This, this final fight is really epic. He's destroyed the guns. He's killed Emon Zaimon. He's covered in wounds and bullet holes, and <laughs> he's he's now he gets to go upstairs and kill Princess Hite. <laughs> oh. So he goes upstairs and Hite's like, "Oh, okay, you killed Emon Zaimon. Go ahead, kill me, whatever." And the Shogun is sitting there like, "Wait a second, what's going on?" So I guess Shikizaki Kiki's plan was to topple this government, to topple this Shogun. So in actuality. Um, Shichika is there to kill the Shogun. <laughs> oh, and as he kills the Shogun, he screams Cheerio. Oh, <laughs> oh, Shichika. I guess that's the end of the series. I mean, there's still some time after the ending theme song, and we're seeing all of the um, different places that they've traveled. This is a twist. Shichika is traveling with Hitei, making a map of Japan. And Shichika's thinking like, Oh, if people really do come to Japan to destroy it, then hopefully the warriors of that time will be there to stop them. The narrator wonders what happens, what happened to Shichika. Maybe he died. Maybe he left Japan and traveled someplace else. We, we don't know. Well, that was a very interesting show with a very interesting ending. It will take some thought. Um, but I, I loved that finale. I thought it was fabulous, and they didn't go for any cliche stuff. The, everything there is there to make you think about it, and that's that's very cool. So my next uh, video for this show will obviously be the series review, and then I'll be starting a new show after that, which is a secret for now. See you next time. Bye!